<clears throat> what up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I don't really have a title for this one because there's really no title for what I'm about to say. Like, there really is no title for what I'm about to say and or anything, but, you know, my girlfriend Abby is right. And this is actually mostly aimed, or not aimed at, not trying to direct on anybody, but it's mostly for, you know, her family, you know, her direct family who does not like me. You know, your daughter's right. You guys really should give me a chance. You know, I'm I'm not the bad guy you guys think that I am. I'm really not. You know, my ex hacked my account that day and made <clears throat> for me. She basically hacked my account and made me look. Like, I was doing bad stuff, but I wasn't. And honestly, you guys need to stop judging me by my past and judge start judging me by how I'm doing now. I love Abby to death, and there's not a single thing I wouldn't do for that girl to make her happy. Like Abby said, give me a chance. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to hurt your daughter. If anything, I want to make your daughter happy. I want to, honestly, I want to spend the rest of my life with your daughter. I really do. She's the best thing to happen to me. She really is. And, you know, like, I just wish you guys would be willing to give me a chance, just like the rest of you guys' family gave me a chance. Her uncle Warren, her cousin Justin, her uncle Billy, they all give me a chance and they love me to death. So why can't you guys? And you guys say that what she's living is is a fantasy? No, it's not. It's very real. Okay, we FaceTime every day. Or at least try to. I'm not some fake weirdo on the internet. That's not me. And yeah, and I get your point. You say that, you know, like, we need to meet in person and that's not. And, and I respect that. I get that. And you're right. We do need to meet in person and we will. But honestly, give me a chance and let me show you that I'm not the bad guy that you seem to be. Like, I'm not a bad guy at all. And maybe if you guys would take a couple seconds to talk to me and get to know me and get to see what I'm about, then maybe then you guys will see that I'm not the bad guy that you guys seem to think or have this image of. If anything, I'm the complete opposite. I love your daughter with all my heart. She really is the best thing to happen to me. And yeah, I know I might not look the best, and I get it, but she loves me for me, and I love Abby for her, and nothing's going to change that. Nothing is going to change the fact that I love your daughter with all my heart and soul. Nothing is going to change the fact that I do one day want to be married to her and have a life with her. Your daughter is the best thing to just, there's no words to say just how amazing your daughter really is, guys. There really isn't. Like, she pushes me every day. When I feel like giving up on what I do best, when I feel like giving up and throwing everything away, that... 
I've worked so hard for, when things get stressful, she's right there to push me through it every day. She doesn't let me give up. And I don't let her give up either. Hey, Abby. Love you too, baby. What up, Matt? What's going on, buddy? But, uh, shout out to the third person watching. I don't know who you are, but what's up? But, um, you know, your daughter does push me to be the best that I can be each and every day. Just like I push her to do the best that she can do and be the best that she can be every single day. Like, you know, your daughter is the best thing that happened to me. And I want her to achieve her dreams. I really do want that for her. I want her to be able to do the teaching job that she wants to do. I want her to be able to, you know, drive and have a life for herself. So please, guys, instead of judging me by my past and what I did before, let that go. Leave the past in the past. Let it go. And instead of judging me by my past, judge me by doing now. Judge me by my work ethic here and now and how I treat your daughter now. Stop judging me by my past, because the past is the past. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is something about right now. And what I want to do is make you guys see that I'm not the bad person that you guys think that I am. Because I love your daughter with all my heart and soul. And there's not a damn thing that I wouldn't do for her. She's the reason that I wake up every day and do my music and make a career out of what I love. Your daughter is the reason that I stand up and I become a voice for these kids that don't have one. But, you know, and I respect that you guys are old school, but these are not the old school days. Times have changed. As much as I don't want them to have changed from the 90s, you know, they are. Times have changed. And honestly, you guys need to learn that what me and Abby have is very, very real. I love your daughter with all my heart and soul, just like she loves me. And, you know, I can tell you one thing's true. For sure, there's not a damn thing that I would not do. And down to choose between my music career and Abby, I'd walk away from my music career in a fucking heartbeat. I would drop all that like that. I do music as a career. Not only because it's what I love, and not only because, you know, my music does help people, but because I want to build a future for me and Abby. I want to build a future for me and for her. Would I like a family with her one day? Of course I would. But I also know that that will come in due time. I'm asking you, Mr. Mrs. Duter. Please just sit down and talk with me, whether it's on here, whether it's on FaceTime or whatever. Just sit down and get to know me. Because I am not the bad guy that you guys seem to think that I am. 
I'm really not. Anyways, thank you for watching this, and I hope that you guys do give me a chance. And again, I love you, Abby. You're amazing, sweetheart. Can't wait to see you. I love you. And I'll see the rest of you guys that have been watching this later on. Talk to you guys later. Bye.